The current position of church administration at the high levels. La posición que ha tomado la administración actual en la iglesia en, en sus eh, administraciones. I think it's well expressed. Creo que ha sido expresada bastante bien. By Mike Ryan. Por Mike Ryan. Vice President of the General Conference. El vicepresidente de la Asociación General. And personal advisor to Pastor Ted Wilson, the President. Y también consejero personal del presidente Ted Wilson. When Mike Ryan told me and my wife. Cuando Mike Ryan le dijo a mí y a mi esposa. We do not care about your fruits if they are good or bad. A nosotros no nos importan sobre tus frutos, si son buenos o son malos. We only care about one thing. A nosotros solamente nos importa una cosa. Your obedience. Tu obediencia. That sounds Jesuit to me. Y eso suena como Jesús. You obey regardless if the fruits are good or bad. Doesn't matter what, you just obey. Obedece, no importa, no me interesan los frutos, si son buenos o son malos. Obedece. So it wasn't a surprise to me. Así que no fue una sorpresa para mí. When Mike Ryan said, cuando Mike Ryan dijo, told me and my wife, cuando me dijo a mi esposa y a mí, the Jesuits are our friends and advisors. Que los jesuitas son nuestros amigos y nuestros consejeros. Woe to any denomination who has Jesuits as advisors. Ay de aquellos quienes tienen a los jesuitas como consejeros. Woe to any government. Ay de cualquier gobierno. Or any leadership o de cualquier liderazgo that has a Jesuit at your side to advise you. Que tiene un jesuita a su lado para que le aconseje. Because as you heard this morning, porque tal como usted escuchó esta mañana, they are vowed to kill anyone. Ellos han jurado asesinar a cualquiera. That goes against their mission. Que vaya en contra de su misión. And to have Jesuit advisors at the general conference, woe unto you. Y para tener ese tipo de consejeros en la asociación general. Ay de usted. Woe unto you, Mike Ryan. Ay de usted, Mike Ryan. Who gives advice to the president. Quien le da consejo al presidente. Woe unto you, Seventh Day Adventist Church. Ay de ti, Iglesia Adventista del Séptimo Día. If you have an illegitimate relationship with the great whore of Babylon. Si tiene, en dado caso, esa relación legítima con la ramera de Babilonia. Who are the Jesuits throughout Christendom? Protestantism was menaced by formidable foes. The first triumphs of the Reformation pass, Rome summoned new forces, hoping to accomplish its destruction. At this time, the order of the Jesuits was created, the most cruel, unscrupulous, and powerful of all the champions of popery. Cut off from every earthly tie and human interest, dead to the claims of natural affection, reason, and conscience, Holy silence, they knew no rule, no tie, but that of their order, and no duty but to extend its power. The gospel of Christ had enabled its adherents to meet danger and endure suffering, undismayed by cold, hunger, toil, and poverty, to uphold the banner of truth in face of the rack, the dungeon, and the stake. To combat these forces, Jesuitism inspired its followers with a fanaticism that enabled them to endure like dangers and to oppose to the power of truth all the weapons of deception. There was no crime too great for them to commit, no deception too base for them to practice, no disguise too difficult for them to assume, vowed to perpetual poverty and humility It was their studied aim to secure wealth and power to be devoted to the overthrow of Protestantism and the re-establishment of the papal supremacy. When appearing as members of their order, they wore a garb of sanctity, visiting prisons and hospitals, ministering to the sick and to the poor, professing to have renounced the world and bearing the sacred name of Jesus, who went about doing good. But under this blameless exterior, the most criminal and deadly purposes were concealed. It was a fundamental principle of the order that the end justifies the means. By this code, lying, death, 
perjury, assassination were not only pardonable but commendable when they served the interests of the church. Under the various disguises, the Jesuits worked their way into offices of state, climbing up to be the counselors of kings and shaping the policy of nations. They became servants to act as spies upon their masters. They established colleges for the sons of princes and nobles and schools for the common people. And the children of Protestant parents were drawn into an observance of popish rites all the outward pomp and display of Romish worship was brought to bear to confuse the mind and dazzled and captivate the imagination and thus the liberty for which the fathers had toiled and bled was betrayed by the sons. The Jesuits rapidly spread themselves over Europe and wherever they went there followed a revival of popery. There was given unto him a mouth speaking great things in blasphemies. Nella chiesa non esiste il fai da te, non esistono battitori liberi. Quante volte Papa Benedetto ha descritto la chiesa come un noi ecclesiale. Talvolta capita di sentire qualcuno dire io credo in Dio, credo in Gesù, ma la chiesa non mi interessa. Quante volte abbiamo sentito questo? E eh, questo non va. C'è chi ritiene di poter avere un rapporto personale, diretto, immediato con Gesù Cristo, al di fuori della comunione e della meditazione della Chiesa. Sono tentazioni pericolose, sono tentazioni dannose, sono, come diceva il grande Paolo VI, dicotomie assurde. Ricordatevi bene, essere cristiano significa appartenenza alla Chiesa. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. All that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear.